Back in June of 06, Caitlin was directly struck by lightning, the only lightning in a 60 mile area storm. Um, odd and um, very traumatic, and she was fighting for her life. You are in shock when you hear the news that your child may not make it. The burns were very severe, infection could be very prominent, and then as they're checking motor skills and brain activity, then they relate to you, your child may never walk or talk again. It has affected every aspect of her body, every movement, muscle, how you normally do things on a day-to-day -day basis, brushing your teeth, combing your hair, feeding herself, are all daily struggles for Caitlin. So we're technically a service learning course or program, um, but you know, meeting like this, it's very much informal. There's no like real class or like a curriculum per se. It's more just we work on these ongoing projects. There's a lot of organizations in the community, the ADEC uh, organization, and then we work with St. Joe and Memorial Hospitals. So it's always kind of whatever they bring to us is kind of what, what we work on. What we're doing right now is working on a feeding device. There's a woman that's actually my age, she's 22, and she has these tremors and she can't feed herself. It's debilitating for her. So we're trying to come up with a solution so that she can feed herself, essentially. <laughs> we're getting there. Yeah. It's hard to gauge because yeah. we yeah. still need to figure out if our client is going to like our joystick. joystick. Otherwise, we need to purchase a Bluetooth adapter so that we could let her use her iPad, which she already uses. What's kind of cool about the project is we have another prototype that is purely mechanical based and it's something that her arm will sit in and she'll be able to like move it around. It's as multiple degrees of freedom. So that's exciting. Everything becomes more difficult for our client when she extends her arms outward. And so what I wanted to do was create a system that allowed her to keep her hands as close to her body as possible. Um, and so starting with that in mind, I knew that I needed to create some sort of extension, some sort of arm that was gonna allow her to reach from her, from her side where she's comfortable, where her arm is able to stay tucked in and stabilized, and kind of give her the extension that she needs with the device to get out to the food and then to bring that food back to her. And then that's when I started kind of coming up with iterations of this design. From my standpoint, I'm really you know pushing the mechanical end of things. I've had a lot of physical product development experience and so I'm trying to put that to good use and see what I can come up with on that front. The students were very tuned into Caitlin, which I liked. They jumped right in, um, talked to Caitlin, had helped her with her hands and arms, setting her up in the device, like, no big deal, this is what we do. And that was what struck me the most, is they enjoyed it and made her feel like one of them. Hey, how's it going? I'm a senior here at Notre Dame, and I like feeling like I can use my education in a way that gives back. It's just so honestly painful to think that here's someone that's intelligent and they're kind of just trapped in her own body. So it's been really nice to be able to feel like I can help her get some independence back. That's great. That's really good. It's such a unique opportunity to be able to, to design products that we then get to see in the hands of someone um, who could really use these technologies and stuff. Um, to be able to do something that helps others, I think that's really where our motivation comes from. Awesome. I like cantaloupe. <laughs> <laughs> do you like cantaloupe? Is that a good one? Good. The joy of seeing Caitlin take a bite by yourself is priceless. I'm like it. A little flip rotation. Just hit speak. I'm so very happy right now.